Hi, my name is Nancy. I'm 60. I'm recently retired and I'm a patient of Dr. Williams. Uh, I am going to have uh, neck surgery and lower blepharoplasty next week. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Uh, it's genetic and I'll show you a picture of my mother. And here's a picture of her. She was in her 70s. She had the same uh, issues, the, uh, the bags and if you want to call it the turkey neck. And after seeing some photos of myself, such as this one, I said, it's time. And uh, what I would like to see happen with me is to have me looking like this. I was 37 at the time. And uh, I wore my hair up today and I don't have any makeup on. Uh, just to show you what I actually look like. Here's my profile. I hate it. I'm very self-conscious about it. And um, I try when I, ha there's photos, I try to keep my head up so people don't see the bags. So I'm retired now. I'm looking to start a new chapter in my life. And uh, I want to feel refreshed and I want to look good. And uh, now I can do anything I want to do, and I feel like I'm 20, so I want to look like, well, I'm 37. So, anyway, I chose Dr. Williams. I had been on some consults, and I had gotten some referrals from friends. But he is a specialist in e ENT, which is very important to me, and he's, he specializes in facial plastic surgery. So, uh, this is something I've been thinking about for quite a while and uh, I feel confident that he can uh, do a good job for me, a really good job. So, thank you. Morning. You all set, Nancy? Yes. Yeah. So, I know you have questions, so hopefully I have some answers for you. What's up? Uh, I just wanted to know, will there be any blurry vision? A little bit initially because we put some uh, lubrication goop in your eyes. So okay. it keeps your eyes, so your eyes always stay moist. Mm -hmm. So usually when you wake up sometimes in recovery or even, you know, today they may be a little blurry, but it's temporary. And it's just the, just this, this lubrication ointment that kind of does that. Well, how long will the blurriness be? I don't want to be like, you know, freaking out. No, it won't be, it won't be like you can't see blurry. Yeah, it'll just yeah. be, you know, it'll just to be okay. a little blurry. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Lumbar support. I remember we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that. Yep. I told Della. Yep. And um, do you shave any hair? Nope. Oh, okay. Great. Women don't like it when you shave your hair. Oh so God! Yeah, we I hardly have it. any as it is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was just wondering about that chin support. Mm-hmm. If that was that, that's real tight. I guess it gets real, real tight, tight as as you swell. It's actually. A little bit, but it's it's not bad. What you're going to feel more tight is just from the lift, because that feels tight initially. Mm -hmm. The dressing comes off tomorrow. I mean, it'll it'll be a little snug. The, mm -hmm. the first 24, the first 12 hours, you know, it's a little annoying, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you can still sleep with it. Okay. Okay. Who's coming to get you? Oh, my friend Gay. Gay. So okay. she's over at the Marriott now. All right. So I'll make sure I find her. All oh, right. you'll find her. We'll take good care of you. All See right. you in the room, okay? Okay. Right. Oh, and how many hours? Uh, with Surgery? You? Yeah. Three and a half-ish. Oh, okay. Something like that. Great. Plus or minus. Okay. Great. Okay. Hi. I'm Nancy. I'm back again six weeks later. And uh, I had gotten a uh, mid-face lift, lower blepharoplasty, and neck lift by Dr. Williams. And uh, here is the photo that I was going by when I came in here. And I was 37 there, and I said, I want to look like this. So. You can be the judge. I'm pretty happy about this, but I still have swelling. Here I am. Here's my hair up. Okay, here's the photo. And there's still some swelling, but I got rid of the turkey neck and the bags. So I'm happy and uh, I have to be a little more patient. I know it's gonna take a few more months. So I just wanted to give everyone a few tips 
if they should decide to uh, have work done here with Dr. Williams. Okay. So they do suggest that you get lymphatic drainage massages beforehand to minimize bruising. And I think it's a good idea. I did it before, and I did it during the process. Also, the Arnica tablets will help as well, and it's a holistic medicine. As far as the uh, pre-op is concerned, I, I definitely recommend that you stay at the uh, Marriott next door uh, so that, you know, the next day when you come in, at least with me, I had a 6.30 a.m. appointment, and uh, I just walked over, and I let my Florence Nightingale sleep a couple more hours before she'd have to take care of me. So the night of the surgery, we stayed here as well. So we stayed two nights, and it was good because I wasn't in any condition to be in a car and have jarring and that type of thing. So uh, the next morning, the dressings came off, so it, it was very beneficial that we stayed here. And then, uh, you know, my Florence Nightingale just drove me over. And uh, these six weeks have been painless. Uh, I may have taken Advil for the swelling. So ladies and gents, if anyone wants to contact me, they, you know, they're more than welcome to through uh, Dr. Williams. And so the last thing I want to tell everyone is Dr. Williams will make your wishes come true, but you must follow the instructions. So good luck.